Oh, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. Joining me today, sitting in for Michael Mandel, is Braden Tidwell. Braden, thanks for sitting in and, and filling in. Uh, you work in the Sun News, don't, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm account executive of the Las Cruces Sun News. Been there for the past four years in the oh. sales and advertising department. Mm -hmm. uh, how's it going? It's doing good. I mean, we're part of the USA Today network. Uh, we're transitioning into uh, more capabilities of how we uh, reach to our community with local news, uh, bringing the national stories where some people might be interested, but also helping businesses succeed in their marketing goals on our multimedia platforms, whether it be in print, digital, social media, or even um, um, local magazines that we have as well. Right. Now, um, the Sun News is owned by the same company that owns the El Paso Times. Yes. And the Denver Post. Uh, right? Yes. Yes. As well as a bunch of other papers, papers around the Southwest. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, many. I mean, I, I, it's, I couldn't, hundreds yes. of, of newspaper and, markets that and we And is have. that the same company that owns the USA Today? USA Today, yeah, is our uh, parent company, well, with Gannett as well. Uh -huh. So. Yeah, so, so we have a, a lot of um, um, a limited access that we can give to our community, bringing the local news uh, to the national. And right now we have a summer subscription sale as well uh, that people can sign up for as low as 99 cents for the first mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. And then how much is it normally? Uh, normally it just depends if you're doing the print um, or if you're just doing the e-edition online. Uh, a lot of people these days, they have the, uh, their mobile devices, tablets, cell phones, uh, laptops, so, so we've seen an increase in our online presence, but, it, but a lot of people still like the uh, paper first thing in the morning or at night, so we still have a strong readership in town. Is the print edition more expensive than the online? Uh, it's a little bit more, uh, but you can get it for maybe like a uh, new subscriber deal for four months, like seven bucks a month, or you can get print and digital access. So you think a cup of coffee a month, you, you can have unlimited access to uh, what local news is bringing to you in print and digital. Now, is it possible to uh, do the crossword puzzle online? Crossword puzzle online, that has been given to us as an idea, but no, I don't think you can do the crossword That's puzzle right. online. It, so just in print, so that's what a lot of people love, the crossword puzzle. I love the Sunday comics, yeah. so it, it, I'm, I'm still not a Sudoku professional. And what about all the, uh, you know, the grocery store uh, inserts and the coupons and so forth? You can't get that online, can you? No, the grocery inserts, uh, coupons, of course, Sunday is our highest uh, distribution because it goes into Deming and Silver City, but we also do um, a, a lot of coupons in Sunday's paper as well that people pick up either at the local convenience or grocery store if they're not a subscriber. Um, but still, we still have a lot of local businesses that are starting to advertise their um, promotions on our online platform. So, so that's another way where they can download the coupons as well. Oh, so we have to, we have to use our paper to download your coupons? Um, well, if the business, certain businesses are doing some um, advertising on our platforms, sometimes they have an insert uh, that you can go to, PDF to download, and you can take it to that merchant to, right. uh, to redeem that coupon. <clears throat> Right. I, I still prefer the, the print edition. I get it yes. every day, even though it's way too expensive. <laughs> uh, I may not be getting it for long, because I do think it's way overpriced. Uh, it just keeps going up. It's like cable TV. Just keeps oh, yeah. Going up. Uh, prices everywhere that you can see across the board, depending if it's, if it's print, digital, depending on how people get their news these days. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the cost of the ink. Uh, the readership's still strong in print, but a lot more people, uh, that's why it's it's cheaper to go online. You can, really, you, you can still get the print edition in an e electronic edition, so it'll be the same format, and you can just read it the same way. I understand distribution costs are high. Uh, I understand that. I've worked in, in newspaper distribution because mm -hmm. uh, it's printed in El Paso. It's trucked up here, and then it's given to the carriers who oh, yes. take it out <laughs> all over the county. Uh, it's expensive and time-consuming, um, and uh, I don't belittle the people who do all that work because it's, it's hard work and it's important work, mm -hmm. and I'm always glad to get my newspaper. Even if it shows up late sometimes. <laughs> we'll always make sure if you, if you miss a delivery or have an issue, we always have our circulation department that, that resolves those issues. Well, I, we, I have one of the greatest carriers, you know, Kathy Williams, um, that we have. And uh, she's been doing it for yeah. 20 years. Oh, great. Yeah, we have carriers that have been with us a long period of time that deliver the paper before the break of dawn, too. So we've we got to give thanks for them that, that deliver, put in your drive. Absolutely. And that's a hard job because there's no vacation. No. It's seven hours, a, seven days a week. <coughs> And uh, if you need a vacation, you have to train somebody <laughs> on your route so that you can take a week off or whatever. And if they screw up, it's on you. It's like the postal service, through rain, sleet, or snow. That's right. you got to deliver the mail. you got to deliver the newspaper. Sometimes you have to wrap it in plastic if, it's, yep. if they even think it's going to rain. <laughs> exactly. That's right. 
So anyway, <coughs> you know, uh, I don't know if, uh, you, uh, how you got here, but I had mm -hmm. to drive through Main Street construction at Main Street and Spitz um, by Albertsons yeah. on North Main. Yeah. You know, in any normal town, uh, it wouldn't take as long as it takes here in Las Cruces. Here it takes three times longer than it should in the real world because mm -hmm. um, they don't work at night. No. When it's much cooler, when there's far less yeah. traffic, and yeah. when it, they can get the job done much easier. No, they have to do it during the, during the <laughs> 100 degree heat, um, and then they all go home at night. So it takes yeah. eight, it takes a year and a half to get something done that should take four months. Yeah, I uh, usually avoid that area at all costs. I mean, uh, you gotta uh, give it up to those workers that are doing everything they can to get it done. But again, I, I seek alternate routes because it, it is clustered up there and it is a traffic delay and it costs for more accidents up there. So people just need to be more cautious, drive safely, and just be patient. Main Street's down to one lane in both directions. One lane, yep. So that means a lot more wait time at the red lights. Very much so. And uh, coming down to, and, and more wait time at the green lights too. Mm -hmm. um, coming down from Main Street, say from uh, Elks Drive, I used to be able to turn left at the at the light, right uh, before yeah. Albertsons. Now that's closed off. So yeah. what I do, I, I, I turn right actually. Uh, now I turn right at Elks Drive and wind my way through the through the, through the neighborhoods and come out at Spitz and then make my way through. Yeah, it, it's it's having me is it's having me go through um, that intersection. I forget what's called, but it's past Camino del Rex because that's closed off too near the credit union, but it's also tempting yes. me going in between Dairy Queen and Taco Bell, and I just try to pass those areas as well, but might be good for them because people might be, you know, hungry, and uh, <laughs> yeah. any, bit, any publicity is good publicity. I know so, a lot of people cut through their Albertsons parking lot. Yeah, so they're like, faster mm. that way. So it might drive more, more business, it might um, detract more business, who knows? <clears throat> yeah, and it'll be that way for the next year and a half. Oh, yes. <coughs> Excuse me, so also, we're gonna be having the downtown street conversion. <laughs> right now we have the kind of the racetrack that goes around the downtown, around Main Street, the Water, Water Street, and Church Street. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one way, they're going to make it into, both streets will be two-way streets. The way it was originally designed uh, 80 years ago, or whenever. Uh, during urban renewal back in the 70s, they made it the way it is now, one way, the whole way around. Mm -hmm. uh, they put in a roundabout a few years ago, and uh, I guess they're going to be taking that out, uh, just as people have learned how to uh, navigate through that. Uh, I'd like to see the plans for how they're going to do that, um, how you access in and out, mm -hmm. the, you know, what the egress is, and, and uh, uh, where can I get a map like that that will show me? Um, well, again, uh, good thing you asked. We have uh, uh, Las Cruces Sun News has partnered up with the city of Las Cruces government, and we uh, they're doing some uh, marketing for the paving the way to downtown. That downtown is open for business, yeah. and, and if you if you're a fan of the city of Las Cruces government on their Facebook page. Or if you've been to our website, we have some advertisement there that would uh, give more information that links to uh, a landing page that gives more information about the map, about because there's going to be broken down into certain phases of how they're going to get this two-way street conversion. You know, you can't do it all at once. You have to take baby steps. And so, uh, so if you so if you go to the Sun News website, there's an advertisement on there on the home page, and you just click to link, or even to our Facebook page, you're going to be having a public forum uh, seeking uh, Q and As. Um, so yeah, if you just click the link and find more information on the website, it gives much more detail. I'm sure there's much more involved than just uh, yeah. redoing the lines down the center. Mm -hmm. um, so right, as it is now, it's two lanes plus median, plus parking on the Ex side. Exactly. Uh, I don't. Know, I hope they're going to keep the parking on the side and have one one lane going this way, one lane going the other way. <laughs> it's going to be parking wars downtown, so people just need to be patient. And as and it is, <laughs> yeah, there's not enough parking downtown as it is. Uh, I wish the city would do a multi-tiered parking structure mm -hmm. like they do in like Santa Fe and uh, hey, Prescott, Arizona's got it. Why can't we have it? <laughs> exactly. We're growing and we need more parking so it doesn't become parking wars downtown. Absolutely. Um, now, you know, in spite of all this nonsense, Las Cruces is ranked the sixth best run city in the country. I don't know how they pull that one out. Because even though we're lowest in education, lowest in the economy, we're six best run still. I mean, six being six best run city in the nation is is fabulous, phenomenal. I mean, me being a native of Las Cruces and born and raised, and I've seen the growth and development of how it's been run, of where we've been growing on the East Mesa, and of course mm -hmm. going west, as well as. But we're still below average in education and economy. That we need to do a better job, especially with not cutting programs or with the state budget how we're doing it with because people are coming here to retire either of you the food uh, the weather the people the scenic views
But again, what are we doing to help our, our future generations here? And, and right. Now, financially, the city's in good shape. Exactly. They have a lot of money in their, in their own account. Their budget is, is good. They're not in the red at all. No. They're, they're well set. They're well in the black. And they seem to manage that well, and I think that's one of the main uh, aspects of this rating. Right. Um, it's also a good place for, um, for quality of life. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it was ranked well in that. Yeah. We have a lot of parks. We have a lot of activities, things like that. Um, we have a swimming pool for kids. Splash pad. Yeah, it's, it's kind of pretty much a waiting pool, but hopefully they're going to add the uh, Olympic pool soon. Oh, yes. And uh, so, you know, Las Cruces is a fairly good place to live, to retire, to move to. Uh, so we're ranked sixth in the country. Best run city. I mean, you got to give them props for that, and kudos to the you know our city government. But right. again, th there's always That's room the mayor for right there. th there's always room for improvement. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. So so bless the mayor and, and his council of what they're doing to to see what we can do better for the future. Now they they're always wanting to attract business to Las Cruces, and that's mm -hmm. a good thing. <clears throat> I see where Visa, Visa card, the credit card, is offering ten thousand dollars to businesses to stop accepting cash. Cash? You, what do you think that? No is? more cash. They'll just take credit cards only, or I guess uh, debit cards. Uh -huh. But Visa has debit cards too. But uh, I guess a person could take their bank card and use it in lieu of cash. But Visa wants to make us a cashless society. I'm not ready uh, for that. I don't want that. No. And, and I resist that. Yeah, because when the systems go down, I mean, cash is green and wherever you can do. Right. Yeah, uh, when the computers go down, what are you going to do? Just not buy <laughs> your stuff? <laughs> no. I've seen we're, it happen. We're going to have to do trade to see if you have any gold or silver on you. Now, yeah, you may be all, it, it'll come to that, especially when we have a, a, you know, a major uh, crisis on a national oh, level. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I still carry a, a little bit of cash on me because you never know in case of emergency. Uh, but, yeah, debit cards, it's becoming more, uh, more common people these days. I, I don't think, do you write a check? I haven't written a check in years. I, I used to have a check card. I don't even have that anymore. Uh -huh. I know in, in, in England, you, you, you may not, they don't take checks anymore. Oh, wow. Since 2016, no more checks. <laughs> That's just... Uh, I guess you can use your card, but, uh, you know, check card, but you can't write a check anymore. And, oh, wow. You know, and I'm surprised to still see the people are writing checks. I was behind a lady just the other day <laughs> writing out that check. Oh, uh, wow. Yep. Um, so... <clears throat> And, you know, what if you go to the Farmers and Crafts Market? They don't take uh, credit cards mostly. Uh, no, yeah, it's mainly cash. I think cash. there's a couple that can, but, but mostly it's cash, cash transaction. And they're trying to get more of the mobile accepting with those, uh, like, uh, the, Square the and Talius yes, right. or through their local bank to have that merchant services available because uh, that can, can increase their business. Yeah, like and, we, and we have one of the top ten rated uh, Farmers and Crafts Markets in the country here. People don't realize that in Las Cruces. And uh, we even have yeah. a picture of the Farmers and Crafts Market. Uh, I was oh, yes. down there the other day. What are, they have new summer hours, don't they? Well, I've heard that there's new summer hours. It's an hour less. It's from 8 to noon on Saturdays. And they also have the Wednesday night market uh, also as well, once a month from 5 to 9. But again, I think it's for heat safety because of, so people don't get exhaust, exhausted uh, if, they're, if they're not taking care of that, being in the no. sun. Well, think of the poor merchants so. that are down there, you know, from 8 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock. Right. They're but... But again, with lunchtime, I mean, I don't even get out there until close to lunchtime. So again, it might be um, not good for the vendors. Or they need to have more public inf information because uh, they can help uh, get more business during the lunch hour. Yeah, I've had lunch down there myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, let's take a break. And when we come back, we've got a lot, more, a lot more cool things to talk about right here on Double Talk. All right, good job. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call now. Is your treasure dining room table in danger? Don't let scratches, spills, or hot plates ruin your beautiful dining table. 
Table paths are normally hundreds of dollars, but right now you get a custom table pad for only $69, an unheard of price. Our table pads are hand upholstered, just like the ones Grandma had. Order your custom table pads for only $69 and receive a $30 protective storage bag free. Call 800-631-9229. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business. According to the secret war, banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get the secret war free. Call the number on your screen or visit online. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. Call the number on your screen right now to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. We are back. This is Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen along with Braden Tidwell sitting in for Michael Mandel today. Braden, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Braden works for the Sun News and you see actually not only the Sun News but the other uh, publications that uh, Sun News is responsible for. Um, you know, so all those trees, those porch, porch <laughs> trees. Oh, it's only we have w weekly publications. We got monthly uh, magazines. So, um, of course, we're, we're a daily newspaper bringing your local news uh, per day either online or in print. Well, and so I, I uh, believe in recycling. So if you recycle your newspapers, then uh, trees don't have to sacri be sacrificed. Now, you know, there's, as of today, anyway, there's five candidates running for governor of New Mexico. Wow. Uh, of course, our, our uh, current representative from District 2, mm -hmm. which is this district, Steve Pierce, has thrown his hat into the ring. He's not going to be running for... Uh, Congress um. this time around. He's been in there for 12 years. Um, and um, besides Steve Pierce, another congresswoman from New Mexico, Michelle Lujan Grisham, she's mm -hmm. thrown her hat into the, into the arena for governor, as well as this fellow who is also running for governor. That's uh, Joseph Cervantes. He's from Las Cruces. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how they can match Steve Pierce money dollar for dollar because he seems to have an, uh, an inexhaustible amount of money. He certainly did when he ran for, for Congress. Mm -hmm. And he has the backing of the, Co of the Koch brothers. Um, and uh, so everybody's going to have an uphill battle against Steve Pierce. Oh, yes. They're going to have to beat him on the issues, not money-wise. He can outspend him. As he did when he ran for Congress, all he had to do was see what, what his opponent was spending and just spend a little bit, spend a little bit more. Exactly. And that's all it took. <clears throat> so, and plus, you know, the incumbent always has the edge anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, he's running for governor. <clears throat> Since he won't be in Congress, uh, he won't be able to be voting against the Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks a National Monument. He was against it. He would like to cut it back by 88% in size. And I don't think that really is what uh, the local people want. That could cost him the election, really if those people come out and vote. Mm -hmm. um, the, the other thing that could cost in the election is his uh, stance against uh, immigration. Um, he's for the wall. And, um, you know, problem is, Hispanics tend not to vote. Wow. If That's they would... Unfortunate. Uh, then he wouldn't stand a chance. But um, I've worked in elections quite a bit, and that's one of the uphill battles you have, trying to get Hispanics out to vote and other minorities in the state. Because Pierce is, has, it, Pierce has uh, been guilty of voter suppression of those groups. And uh, I'm sure he'll try that again this time around. But uh, anyway, the Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks is, seems to be alive and flourishing. It's yeah. bringing uh, visitors to this area, nice. which helps the economy. Yeah, I, I, uh, I agree with the uh, Oregon Mountains National Monument. Just. Uh, just leave it the way it is. I, I mean, it's not really hurting anybody. I know uh, the state of New Mexico overall has, uh, tourism has been very high uh, in all parts of New Mexico and of course with our national monuments. We love them. We need to protect what we have. 
Um, but again, um, with this new uh, uh, governorship coming up, and especially going to be a change in local uh, city council races as well, um, me coming from a Hispanic background and being a native of Las Cruces, I, I feel this is going to election is going to be very interesting of, of how it comes all about. Depending, it's going to be a, a I feel a tight race uh, as well uh, with the candidates that are, are that are coming aboard, and of course with the Oregon Mountain Monument, um, I, I'm I'm for it keeping it the way it is, and, and that's my personal belief and opinion. And so we just need to move forward and, and move on. It may take a guy like Joseph Cervantes to get uh, the Hispanics out to vote. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in that uh, because um, Evelyn Madrid Earhart didn't have much uh, success in that matter when she ran for Congress against Steve Pierce. <clears throat> you know, um, I was reading in the Sun News uh, on Wednesday mm -hmm. an article that says nonprofit arts groups in Doniana County brought in 33 or spent $33 million. Wow. Added $33 million to the economy. Frankly, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't see how that's true. They said $19 million in the city. When you bring in the county, it's $33 million. Uh, does that make sense to you? It, 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 how many it nonprofit groups do we have that, that have that kind of money? <laughs> There's various nonprofit groups in town, and of course, with, with that being the number. Uh, what's being reported, it is a large number and it needs to do a little bit more research to see where that money is coming from, where it's going, and it, just to get more detail because it, it just seems it, it's a pretty penny that's shining out there depending with Mesilla, if that's Las true. Cruces, or Doniana County as a whole. Um, but yeah, I yeah, mean, the group, The group wow. called Americans for the Arts is the ones that did the study mm -hmm. along with the Doniana Arts Council. And, um, I, you know, and this is this isn't all nonprofits. Mm -hmm. This is just nonprofit arts, arts groups, exactly, and association. <clears throat> so I, I have to uh, uh, look further into this. Yeah, it's I frankly don't buy it. it. It's something to find out more answers to, just to see with. Uh, I mean, that's great, but again, we just need a little bit more digging from that. Now, um, you like to eat. Uh, we, we talked about the food trucks earlier. You oh, mentioned yes. them because they're on the downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, area you know, on, on the farmers market, but there's other like a food truck fiesta going on uh, occasionally yes. downtown, right? Oh yes, uh, food truck fiesta I believe happens on the first and third Wednesday of each month. Uh, there's uh, going to be one coming up in the plaza on uh, Wednesday, July 19th, uh, and it, it's pretty fun. I mean, it seems food truck craze are are taking over the dine in and carry out. I mean, you can pick and choose depending if you like. Uh, Mexican, American, Italian, uh, you name it, they got it. And it, it's always good to support yeah. local businesses, especially your food truck. I mean, there's even shows on the Food Channel about yeah. food trucks. Yeah. And uh, they I turn out them. some pretty good food. <laughs> <coughs> now, um, on Wednesday, is it all day? Or is it at night? When they it's at it? night. I mean, uh, the, they're, uh, the one on July 19th will be in the new plaza of De Las Cruces from 5 to 9, I believe. Uh, it'll be, uh, you know, a good three, four hours. Uh, they'll have some entertainment. Uh, come on about, bring your family, friends, coworkers, neighbors, whoever you want. And, um, eat downtown. There's, eat there's downtown. Tables, there's chairs, there's And benches. you can wash, wash up in the splash pad when you're done. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah, the kids bring their bathing suits. They run around <laughs> through the water. I've seen that. They have a good time. Throw a bar of soap in and they're <coughs> clean. There you go. Bring your laundry. Everybody <laughs> have a good time. Washboard. Yeah. yeah. Now, <clears throat> one thing you don't get off a taco truck is... Uh, Chocolate, coffee, and wine. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you're making me hungry just thinking about it. I mean, you got coffee, chocolate, wine. I don't. I don't. It's all good for you. Yeah, well, it's in some its food, own way. Some food trucks may have some coffee, but I don't think food trucks have wine you or can't chocolate. No, nope, not yet. So we'll see. But that's in the work. I mean, you can get it. At, you can get all three probably at your local wineries, sure. uh, and in Mesilla or around Las Cruces. Right. And, uh, but it seems to be the secret to longevity. So you may have a little cup of coffee in the morning, have you know some mm -hmm. wine and chocolate at night, and eat. You're good. Yeah, coffee's good for you. Uh, chocolate has, has the things in it that's good for you. Wine mm -hmm. has a resveratrol mm -hmm. that you need. You can also get that from uh, grape juice. Mm -hmm. But it's the dark grapes that have the resveratrol. So right. the, it's the red wine that's the best for you. Mm -hmm. um, even even the uh, Real Grand Theater, now that's under new management, mm -hmm. they're going to be having, uh, when, when they're going to they're gonna be having a, uh, a film festival. Okay. A classic film festival. Okay. And they'll be having uh, theme nights based on the film showing. Oh. They'll be serving food and, 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 and wines and beers to accompany it. Yeah, we had that in our uh, weekly pulse. Yes. Uh, and uh, you can check that out online or via fan on our uh, Facebook fan page. 
uh, Pulse that gives more information about what um, the Rio Grande Theater and their entertainment that they have coming up as well for the next, you know, for this summer. Right. Now, you, you used to be able to get a glass of wine at the Fountain Theater to see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> because they were connected to the winery next door, it's all under the same roof. Mm -hmm. That's part of the New Mexico law. Under the same roof, you can do it. But then the state came in and said, oh, wait a minute. You have to be certified to serve the wine here. And all the people working behind the counter were all volunteers. Oh, and you couldn't expect yeah. all these volunteers to spend 40 bucks to go out and get certified. Oh, my goodness. Just so they could, you know, sell some wine. Uh, so they stopped serving the wine. Um, so, but the Rio Grande Theater will be serving the wine because they'll be uh, piggybacking on a restaurant's license. That, that'll so be good. They'll be the ones in charge of uh, serving the beer and wine, as well as the food uh, relevant to the uh, theme of the movie. So that, that'll be a good thing coming up starting in, uh, <clears throat> well, the first film starts uh, this month, and then there'll be one in August, but officially it starts in September. And the <clears throat> with it be showing, <coughs> excuse me, eight weeks worth of movies. Oh, wow. Um, but they're starting off The Godfather, <laughs> and uh, uh, Singing in the Rain first in The Godfather, and uh, then eight months worth of, uh, one, one, one night a month at the Rio Grand Theater. You can buy your tickets in advance, I think it's $78, or you can buy them at the door. Now, um, talking about places where you can buy wine, chocolate, and coffee, Sprouts Grocery Store is a place where you oh, can do that. Yeah. We don't have one here, but there's two in El Paso. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be getting one soon, mm -hmm. and they're putting it into the old Hastings uh, location <laughs> up on uh, Loman. Yes. So that's a nice big area, and uh, more than enough room for a Sprouts Grocery Store. Now, I've been to the Sprouts in, in El Paso several times. Oh, yeah. Is it pretty it's good nice. out there? Yeah, it's nice. They have a lot of, uh, a fair amount of... Uh, Organic produce, mm -hmm. just like natural grocers does. Yeah, and of course with the inspected, uh, of course with uh, Las Cruces in general, and people all across the nation, they're getting to more healthier alternatives. Uh, they're watching what they eat, and they're reading their labels where their food come from. And um, I believe I'm all good uh, for Sprouts coming to town. But again, I always stop by the local Mountain View Market Co-op and Toucan Market because they have those certain unique items that yes. no one else does. Like and the Whole Foods might. Yeah, exactly. So I'm always about supporting local businesses, and um, uh, I'm just glad that they're able to create some more jobs here coming to town. So. Right. Now, speaking of uh, healthy food, how about ice cream? Uh, oh, yes. If you want some ice cream, which isn't necessarily healthy at all, but it's a good way to cap off your meal, there's a free ice cream... Uh, what is it? Ice cream Sunday at the Ice Farm cream Sunday Museum. at the New Mexico Farm and Ranch Museum. Yeah, it's a National Ice Cream Month. We've got to celebrate. Um, I forgot the ice cream today, but um, bring your kids. Uh, homemade ice cream, how to make ice cream. It's a low-cost admission to get into the museum, and but it'll be fun. I mean, everybody will be screaming for ice cream. All the, all the ice cream you can eat if you choose yeah. to do so. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> Not too much. Uh, so anyway, thanks for joining us. And uh, Brayden, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, so that's Double Talk for this week. Be sure to join us next week, same time, same station, right here on the Las Cruces channel, Comcast 98, locally and YouTube worldwide. Very good.